Why did you come into my life? Tell me why! <laughs> what kind of question is that? Oh, you think this is funny? Huh? You think it's funny? You think it's funny? Teresa! Did you try to find out what was wrong with her? I did. I mean, but she wouldn't give me the chance. She just ran off. I went to her house to check, but she wasn't there, so I thought I'd come and find out here. She's not here. Oh, God. She looked so very agitated the last time I saw her, and I thought she was putting up a show. You know, like acting. But now I realize she's trying to tell me something. Did she confide in you? Did she say anything? Is she pregnant? No. Why don't you wait till you see her? Well, I guess you're right. Um, but please, can you just tell her how worried I am when you see her? Okay. I feel. All right. Thank you. Right. He caught such a lonely figure walking away like that. How in the world am I going to gather the strength to tell him? Oh! It's not your fault, Teresa. The sooner he gets to know about it, the more good it will do both of you. And I love him. I love him so much. I've never loved anyone like that before. So deep, so true. Let me go, what have I got? Tell him. Tell him. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. and left and right. She's not picking my calls. Is there anything? Can I? Please, have a seat, have a seat. Why not? Is there any sign of her? Ernest. Teresa's genotype is AS. Just as yours is. So I guess you two may not be getting married. What? What did you say? My niece's genotype is AS. Just like yours is. What? Why, why would you say such a crazy thing? Why would you say such a wicked thing? Well, where is Teresa? Where is she? She got the result of the lab test yesterday. And that accounts for her mood yesterday. Where is Teresa? Where is she? Just tell me where she is. Can you just tell me where Teresa is? I'm dusting my jacket for my service in the church this evening. I'll be speaking on the topic to do submission to the will of Almighty God. Papa, I'm miserable. About Teresa? You know? She called me already. Come into the house. Eh? The maid prepared a nice pot of soup that you would like to taste. 
Papa, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Ernest, it is not the end of the world. It's the end of the world without Teresa. Papa, it is. And that's what God forgot. He forgot when he created both of us. He made our genotype AS. And the funny thing, our paths crossed. And now we have fallen in love. I'll tell you a story. Just a little story. I don't want stories. I want an answer. Why? Why? God doesn't answer to anybody. God is God and that is the way it is. Okay. Yes. So, so he plays silly games with your heart? Is that what he does to you? He should play with my heart? But God also created other women besides Teresa. Ernest, all he needs just to search a little, just a little search, a little, a little. Papa, you are pastor, right? Good. Now I want you to talk to him. Talk to God. Tell him what I want. Tell him what I said. I want him to take away the genotype AS thing away from us. We don't want it. Otherwise, the life that he gave to me, he can take it away because otherwise I would do and it. And Ernest! Ernest! Sometimes, the ones we lose and live without are the ones we live with most because they live in our hearts, in our minds and memories. Do you hear me? Forever valued, remembered and treasured till the end of the world. Every day is the same. Today is like yesterday. I couldn't go to work. I couldn't find the strength to concentrate. Have you had this feeling? sneeze and halfway through the yawn disappears just when your mouth was wide open just disappeared denying you that satisfaction of a yawn well yawn to the end. You keep your mouth open and you wish the yawn comes back. But it never does. 
that you couldn't finish what you started. Through no fault of yours. That's how I feel now. Unfulfilled. So, what's going to happen to us now? Am I going to lose you? No. No. We are not going to lose us. around and there's the color of my groceries and my curtains in my house thank god 
Yes. What was wrong with you last night? Listen, I'm trying to deal with my hangover right now, please. No, really, I'm serious. What was wrong with you last night? What do you think was wrong with me last night? You were drunk. I'm making a fool of yourself. And somehow I gather this feeling that you're trying to run away, trying to escape, running away from the realities. Look, it doesn't change the fact that we are both genotype ears. And we can't get married. Say it, complete it. What, the, what is wrong with you? I mean, what is happening to us? This is so unlike us. Why are we fighting? Why are we yelling at each other? Why are we quarreling? This, this Gentile thing is really getting to us and we're letting it. Especially you. You're letting it get to you. Oh no, not me. I wasn't the one who got drunk. I wasn't the one who saw some prostitute bitch in the bar and chained her up. No, it was you, not me. And you're the one yelling at me right now. You know what? I'm not going to take this. Okay? I'm just gonna go home. And I guess I'll just I'll see you later. Promise me I watch. Ernest like and I built our love from a mere attraction to a fire of passion and emotional dependence. I built my dreams around him and him around me. So how could you say move on like it's very easy to do? The man I'm married to today is not my first love. And guess what? I still love my first love, even my school love. They are all carefully locked up in my memory. I unlock that memory when I want to dream. And I think about them and I smile. But then I carefully lock them back in my memory. Fragile, adored, not to be tampered with. I still love them, but this is real life. Love and marriage don't always go hand in hand. We love those whom we love and marry those we marry and learn to deal with them and cope with the way things are. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ate. You will not be seeing me here in a very long time. Teresa, come back here. This is not time to get emotional and walk out on me. Sit down. I came here to get consoled. I came here to look for that one person I can truly pour out my heart to and tell the person how I really feel about Ernest. I didn't come here to be told to dump him. I'm finding you, guy. No, Teresa. I'm holding on to love that you bring. I'm holding on to hands that you bring. Happiness I found is a heartbeat away And holding on to love that we have All you gotta do is hold me Don't let me fall Don't let me fall, let me down Hold me Hold me Don't let me fall Don't love me fall Baby, hold me
Both of you are doing fine under the circumstance. I think I'll go straight to the point. A healthy child is the desire and pride of every married couple. Am I correct? Yes, Papa, you're correct. And no two people we like to get married and start running helter skelter from one hospital to the other because of a constantly sick child who is not happy or healthy like other children. And the sorrow of such parents will be more their burden on their conscience if they deliberately bring such a sick, sad, and hospital prone child into the world. The parents will die every day in their conscience as they watch the child suffer health hazards and even death as they realize each day, each passing day that both of them had a choice not to bring such a child into this world in the first place. All they needed is to sacrifice their love for each other and not get married in the first place. Even God Almighty will not be happy with the couple knowing the health hazards the child will go through. So, the point I'm making is that two people, a man and a woman, whose genotype are AS, should not get married, cannot get married, and must not get married in the first place. Ernest, 
and Teresa. Not minding the depth of love both of you have for each other. You must part ways. You must. Does anybody have anything to say to this? Please. What? Please. 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 What? Your father asked me to go. He asked me to go. He didn't ask you to go. He was just giving us the consequences. He was just telling us what, what happens. He was just giving us the consequences based on the decision that we make. He was just laying the facts on the table. That means that we can do what he says or not. Ernest, he looks us in the eyes and asked us to part ways. He didn't. He didn't order us. He didn't order us. He just said... What's the difference? Huh? What is the difference? He said, he ordered, he asked, he prayed, he, he advised. What is the difference? Okay. Your father wants us to go our separate ways. He knows how much I love you. And yet he said all those things to me. You know what? I'm just going to go. Okay? I hope they're happy. What, what if I don't, God? What, what if I don't, God? What? Theresa. Theresa! So. So. It is the will of God. It is the will of God. Come inside. Come inside. It is the we don't know why. But God will tell us, come in, come in. It is the will of God. Come in, my son. Come in. I'll 
vodka for me and give the lady two shots of um, whatever she's been making. <laughs> you know, it's rude asking a lady who's been drinking what she will take. You just let her continue to drink whatever she's been drinking. <laughs> Rings like a bell. Cheers, my lady. I am not your lady. But all the same, cheers. You know what? Never in my life have I made someone laugh so much. Never knew why, never realized that I had such a good sense of humor. This is good. This is really good. Come closer. What? Closer. Smell me. Inhale. Now. Don't lie. You want to take me right into your bed and f me. No. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> uh. 
earnest, sweetheart. Theresa, where are you? Yeah, I'm in the port right now. A very beautiful port. Guess what? There's this smart, looking, handsome, fabulous young man trying to chat me up. <laughs> but you know what I see in his eyes? <laughs> I see fire. I know he wants to take me home into his bedroom. To his bed. Again and again, slowly. Theresa, Theresa, why would you? Theresa, Theresa! What's that? My daddy. You call your daddy, sweetheart. <laughs> Sweetheart, daddy, dad, love, give me shit. Kiss me. Kiss me. <laughs> Ernest. Why are you here? At this late hour of the night? Huh? She's gone. Theresa is going to do something stupid, Papa. Thanks to your blunt way of explaining things. Son, these are trying times. You must be gentle with yourself. Oh, really? Yes, you must be gentle with yourself. Were you gentle with your words this afternoon? Were you? I did all I had to do. I said all I had to say. Like a father clamoring for the son's happiness. And you did not stop to spare a thought for my fiancé's happiness? Now, you must calm down and tell me where she has gone to and what she has done. Enough to bring you out at this late hour of the night. Papa, if anything happens to Theresa or any harm comes her way, this is the last time you will be seeing me. Busy making you coffee. Uh, how thoughtful of you. Yeah, it will help clear the alcohol. Thank you, sweetheart. Careful. Oh, shit, this is good. Oh, careful. Just hold me. Go. Alright. Hold me. Okay. Tight, hold me. Alright. Yeah. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. Something is pulling me from behind. Did you bring a stick to bed? Whatever that is, take it off because it's making me very, very, 
very uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Sleep in his house? <laughs> yes, unless I did. Right in his bedroom. On his bed. Uh, yeah. Maybe this will be like a consolation to you. Nothing happened. Okay? This is how you're going to cheapen yourself because you can't get married? To every man that smiles at you, do you think he cares about you? Ernest, I don't care. Okay? I was dying. I was running mad. Look. Even if he doesn't care about me, it's none of my business. All I needed was some guy who's gonna hold me and tell me he cares, even if it's a goddamn lie. Theresa, this is us we're talking about. Yeah. We are in love, remember? I am not disputing that fact. Of course we have us. We are in love. But what do you expect me to do? Pine away and die? I don't want you to see that guy anymore. <laughs> Ellis, I will do whatever makes me happy from today. Tell your father that's for me, okay? Uh, yeah. I promised I was going to call him. I'll still call him. I'm sorry for stopping you this early. I'm actually on my way to work and um, I was looking for my purse. Did you see it around here? Um, Did I leave it around here? <laughs> no. You, you must have misplaced it at a pub. You know, you had too much to drink. That's true. <sighs> you look suspicious. 
I was not supposed to leave. Your suit pockets. I don't know, but I mean, th th there must have been a mix up somewhere, you know. I, I, I'm looking for my wallet too. So maybe you took my wallet and I took your purse, Mr. Ken. Mix up? Huh? <laughs> you know what? I agree with you. The only mix up I see here is in my head to get me to, to, to hook up with a light fingered guy like you in the first place. Jesus, you're a shame. Get out of my way. It amazes me. So you're saying he stole your purse? Terry, we it. I had 7,000 naira that night. And by the time I recounted, it was 3,000 naira left. A tip that he is, he only spent 4,000 naira of it. A lot of guys nowadays are so not good, you know, worthless. It's alright. Let's go get a cab and then talk. Hmm? You know, like sort things out. Hmm? so deliberate. Huh? Uh, Why you make it look so formal? Is that not the way it is? Listen, I will check up on you, okay? I mean, I hope everything will be well with you. I will check up on you. Is that pity? Or is that supposed to make me feel better? There is a I'm okay. I'm, I'm alright. I'm not, not crying. I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> you know what? Take care of yourself for me, okay? Exactly the way I would have taken care of you. You do the same too.
I'm holding on to love that you bring I'm holding on to hands that you bring Happiness I found is a heartbeat away I'm holding on to love that we have All you gotta do is hold me Don't let me fall Don't let me fall I'll be getting down on Bank Junction, okay? Okay. Yeah, in front, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jara, I'm getting down as well. Uh, hi, you are you are a very pretty lady, very very pretty. And so sorry, my name is Ernest. Okay. Hi. Hi. I work for uh, the government secondary school. I teach English. Okay, I'm Rose. I own a beauty parlor. Wow, cool. See, I'm 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 gonna divorce. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Actually, what is happening is uh, I. Um, I'm breaking up with my fiance. Yes, and uh, because there's a little problem, you know, genotype problem. So, uh, you know what? I'm sorry. All this is really not your problem. It's not your business. Well, what I'm trying to say is, um, it's been a while uh, since I actually, you know, <laughs> spoke to a lady one on one like this. Uh, my, my tongue is just tied. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Bye, <laughs> Um, excuse me. Can I can I get your number? 
you know, in case I want to stay in touch. I want to stay in touch. <laughs> Here, here's my card. Here. Thank you. My mobile number is um... the one at the bottom. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, do you do you mind taking my number? Okay. Bye. Um, zero eight zero yeah. two three one two yeah. nine four two. Okay. Right on. Okay. Have I'll a great day then. Okay, Rose. Right. Thank you. Bye. Nice meeting you. Okay. You sure you'll be all right? Should I help you cross the street? <laughs> okay. Later. Okay, now that is to be expected. It means that you didn't cheat on me throughout the whole year when we were dating. <laughs> okay, you know, just just calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down, my boy. Don't worry, your raps will flow naturally. Okay? Yeah, so what did she say? Well, she was just um, laughing at me as I was stuttering, you know. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we exchanged phone numbers. Hmm. You must like that girl a great deal, don't you? Uh, well, I, I think she likes me more. <clears throat> wow. Really? Yep. Is she pretty? Uh, well, yes, she's pretty. You can say so. Lucky you then. Why, why do you say that? Because... Because I haven't found anyone who can be compared to you in any way. Not in the least possible way. Hello? Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Look, look. See, it's not time for you to be sad, okay? I need to cheer up. All right, okay. Good. Again, I'll call you some other time, okay? Okay, all right. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye. Cheers. You see? I think he has moved on with his life. Why don't you do the same? I'll be in the sitting room. You think we just made the baby? Baby? Yeah. Babies are made. What we just did. Rose. Remember the lady I told you about that I met in a taxi yesterday? Pick your call. You sure? Yeah. Hello? Ernest, how are you today? 
Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine. Have you eaten? Yes. Um, I've had breakfast. Except I haven't had lunch yet because I just came back from school. Oh, okay. I was just calling to check up on you. Yeah. Um, I'll call you much later then. Yeah. I'll just go back to the salon. Alright. Take care, dear. Bye. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, really? She's already taking my place. I could hear her. Have you eaten? Have you had breakfast? Have you had lunch? She's trying to sound very nice. I'm sorry. But she doesn't even know about you yet. I mean, I only mentioned you in passing the other day when I told her I broke up with my fiance. Then why don't you tell her that we got back together so she could just go to hell? You know what? Don't, don't, don't mind me. I'm just being emotional. Don't tell her about me. You know what? If you can walk up between the both of you and she makes you happy, I'll just give you my blessings and my love and I'll finally walk away. T. It is you that I love. Now, that is today. Tomorrow. Forever. Always. For eternity. You know what? Just do me a favor. Yeah. Don't ever pick up a call in front of me again. Okay. I can't deal with it yet. I won't. I promise. In fact, I'm going to get myself a new SIM card. Why? So that she won't be able to reach me. No, don't do that. But you just said... I want you to be happy. If she's a good girl, and she can make you happy, I want you to date her. Nobody can love me the way you do. No one can ever love me like you do. And if I even find a replacement, she, she will always be second best. Because no one can replace you. Don't worry, my Ernest. I'll be fine. Goodbye. There will never be another you for me. Never. Same here. There can never be another you for me. Ever. I love you. I adore you. I'm crazy about you. Hi. Hello, Teresa. <laughs> Just us. It's so nice to see you after all these years. Yeah, I got your text message, so I rushed down immediately. I could get away from business. That's so, nice. How is life with you? Um, it could be better, but I'm fine, really. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Uh, sit down. Thank you. So, I broke up with my boyfriend, and I'm searching for love. So I thought, what the heck? Maybe I could just look for my eyes. high school sweetheart. And um, if he's still single and available, it would be a very good idea to give our love a shot again. I mean, so I looked for your number and um, I called a few of our 
high school classmates and one of them gave it to me. I I really wanted to call, you know. I guess I didn't just wasn't brave enough. So I'd rather send a text. I sent you a text including my address there and inviting you over. So that's it. And I believe that the no ring on your finger means you're single. There is a... I never knew I would see you again. You know what? No, I'm beginning to feel like I'm toasting you. No, you're not. You're not. You know what? We're meant to be. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> and this time, I'm going nowhere, I swear. Okay. You know, I never stopped loving you. We just drifted apart. You know the forces of life. But I never really loved any other woman, I swear. <laughs> You still talk the same way. You still say, I swear. Oh, come on. Come here. And you still feel the same way. <laughs> you still laugh the same way. Come here. So, you don't look at me. No? I don't want to eat. <laughs> So I suppose you've taken care of my little sister, giving her so much love, much more than she has ever dreamt of. <laughs> Auntie Augusta, could you please just stop it? I don't like the way you're putting him on the spot. Just us, dear. It's high time the woman of today told her man what emotional demands she'll be making of him. If he can give it, the relationship will go on fine. If he cannot give it, well, it was nice making your acquaintance. Goodbye. Get my drift? Sure, I do. I really understand. You see, Auntie, I've really loved Theresa right from my primary school days and even through secondary school. So, I'm not about to stop loving her right now, I swear. Touchy. That's the kind of thing I want to hear. Theresa, dear. Just us is the man. Auntie, Auntie, please, I beg you, just stop it, okay? Please, stop it. I mean, don't make him feel caged. Men actually don't like that. Yeah, I'm swearing. Don't mind my auntie. She's just trying to be overprotective. Mind me, Justice. I meant every word I said. I don't want anyone playing with my niece's feelings. No, I won't. You can be sure of that, I promise. Let's go. One more word aside, Teresa. Thank you. Don't forget to take him for a genotype test. You don't want to play with your feelings again, do you? Get anti me. Do it. Bye, Jesus. Bye. You to stay in love and stay okay. And you take care of yourself. All right. Bye. You don't have to thank me. I mean, I should be the one thanking you and your auntie. It's indeed an honor to have had two very elegant ladies at lunch. Thank you. The perfect gentleman. 
never accepts a compliment from a lady without paying a compliment in return. I'm impressed. Girl, do you know her? No, 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 not at all. Let's go. Let's go. The way you're staring, I don't know her. Come on, Theresa, what was wrong with you? What were you thinking? To take the guy to the same restaurant that we go to? And what's going on in your head? Taking your girlfriend Rose to the same restaurant which you always took me to have lunch. And you knew it was my favorite. Oh, so you finally ran out with another man, right? <laughs> God, who first ran out to have a girl? And told me about it? You. Oh, okay. Are, are we competitors now? Are we competing? You know what? Ernest, you are very selfish. Very, very selfish. Weren't you there when your father asked me to go? Because he wanted his only child to bore him healthy grandchildren. And you sat there and did nothing about it. How would you know what I did or what I didn't do when you ran off and you left? Ran into the arms of another man, you got picked up by a guy, and boom, he steals your purse. What about Rose? Isn't she in your life? It was you the one who is selfish. You selfish. Because I know love is stubborn. You shouldn't have left when my father said leave. You shouldn't have. Hello, Justice. Hello, sweetie. Yeah, I'm on my way to lunch. Would you mind joining me? Or would you prefer I bring your lunch to your workplace? Yeah, same restaurant. Oh, no, don't bother. Um, I'll meet you up there, okay? Don't order until I come. Ah, okay. Um, I'm sure they will have takeaway packs. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll see you soon. Are you right, though? That's oh, alright. See ya. I love it. Same here. Bye. Who's Justice? That's his name. He just invited me for lunch. You are not going to go. Oh hell, I am going for that lunch. Are you certain about not wanting to return to the hospital again today? Have you got no important thing that needs attention there? I'm certain. Every other thing can wait. And thank you very much for lunch and for dropping me back home. I really do appreciate it. 
I noticed you were moody all through lunch. Is there anything bothering you? Whatever it is, take it off your mind. It does matter to me that you're happy. You can come with me to the hotel where I'm lodged. If you know you'll be lonely here. No, no, no. I'll be fine, okay? I just have a little headache. I just need to lighten up. I'll be okay. Are you sure? Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Just us. You did say that my happiness meant a lot to you. Yeah, I did. So, how do you intend to make me happy? What, what are you going to do? You know me. You know me when we were just primary school kids. I used to steal mangoes from the principal's mango trees and give to you just to make you happy because I know you liked mangoes. Tell me, do you still like mangoes? <sighs> now our paths have crossed again. And you're just knowing me again. But I've changed. I love you then. But now. I adore you. Whatever it takes to make you happy. I swear, I'll do it. Come with me. That will make me happy. Come to the house now. Start by holding me. Hello? Teresa, I'm in front of your house. Okay, I'm at your gate right now. I came to see you. And I'm seeing this strange car parked here. The same car I saw your new boyfriend driving the other day that I ran into you guys at the restaurant. And if I can remember correctly, both of you are supposed to go for lunch today, right? Okay, so tell me. How did both of you end up in your house? So tell me. Did both of you end up in your house? Yes. Why? Why? Why would you do such a thing? I thought this thing was just supposed to be... Supposed to be what? Never mind, never mind. Listen, listen. There is a hold on. I just want to know from you. Are you falling in love with this guy? Well, I don't remember owing you any explanation on that, okay? You seem so upset with that call. It's nothing, I'm fine. Would it be out of place if I ask who called? Mm. It's nobody you should bother yourself with. Why don't you want me to be happy? 
You have roles in your life now. And you've moved on perfectly well with your life. Everything goes perfect for you. Why is mine different? Even if I loved you so much and I still let you have your way with roles. So why are you stopping me from being happy? Theresa, you just shouted at me. I'm sorry. But I just need you to stop breathing down my neck. Okay? I want to have a chance on my own to work at my new relationship. I don't need you to spoil things for me. Please. Just just leave me alone. You think I can resist you? Well, you're wrong. Do I still follow her? No. We followed her enough. Just drop me off. Okay, sir. The house you described belonged to Ernest. Teresa's experience. I could lie to you. But what's the point? You are smart. You would sooner or later have found out who lives in the house. If you say she rushed out there, weeping, and she takes some phone calls as if she has something to hide, then it could possibly mean she's still seeing her ex. I'll have to confront her. No, no, please. Please don't. To do so is to scare away from me. And I wouldn't want that, please. What do you intend to do? Let her keep seeing her nest and possibly be cheating on you with him. That is if she's not already doing that. I intend to keep loving her. Until she sees the sincerity of my feelings. And her conscience will be woken up. She'll stop seeing her nest in town. Will that work? Yes, it will. Even a prostitute can be changed with love. All I'll do is to love her and pretend that I don't know that Mr. Ernest exists. Until? Until she stops seeing him. And if she does not? She will. I believe in the power of love, I swear. duplicated the key so I can have one for myself. And you didn't tell me about it. Ernest, are we going to talk about the key or the test result? Okay. Fair enough. When, when did you get the result? This evening. I figured it would make you happy judging by the way you kept insisting I take a genotype test. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad. 
I'm glad you did. Come here. Come here. Marry me. Just like that? Well, I think I like you enough to know that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Come on. What says thou, Signorita? I say we both need some more time to get to know each other. To be sure. Listen, Ernest, I love you. I know it. But we still need some more time. How long does it take to know somebody, eh? Or well, is it that you have some secrets waiting for me to discover and then quit? No, have you? No, not at all. So then let's just wait a little. I'm sure in a few months from now when you ask me the same question, you get the expected answer. Oh, baby, I'm outside your workplace. <laughs> no, 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 I can't come inside. Could you please step out for a while? Okay, it's very urgent and important that I see your face right now outside. Okay, I'm waiting. All right. So, how's your day? Very fine. Um, I was actually in the hotel and I was missing you terribly. So I, I knew. I'll fail ill if I don't see a fist <laughs> Yeah. So if you had gone to the hospital and the doctor asks you what is wrong with you, what would you say? Um, heartache. I mean, resulting from missing the one I love. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're so crazy. Come here. Oh, thank you for coming. Okay. You people will not get away with this. Call the police! What is the matter? Well, my name is Jimmy. I am Gabe. Well, um, I work with Apex Mobile Communication. I work with ZDL Female Accessories. We are here to, to deliver this set of items in placement of what you collected from you. The shoe, the bag, and the handset. Sorry. Sweetie, come. Just come, come, come. What are you saying then? The bag, phone, and the shoe are yours. And the little melodrama you just witnessed is the little noise surrounding the fact that I've just changed your old phone and bag and shoes with this new ones. <laughs> Oh my god! 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 Oh my ever done it that way for me before. And I need to say thank you. Thank you. Put your legs. Okay. Do I still need my SIM card? 
Don't worry, I'll get it. Don't worry. Look, Anas, I am begging you for the umpteenth time. Please just leave. Go home. Please. Why? Why? Why should I go? Because you can't pay me this late night visit anymore. You can't stay this late in my house. I have a boyfriend now. What if he finds about this? How would he feel? Look, look, him, he's a very nice person to me, okay? I do not want to hurt him. So please, just leave. Please. I asked Rose to marry me. And she said we need more time to think about it. Now, as the only one that I truly love, I've come to share my sorrow with you. To cry on your shoulder. Is there anything wrong with that? No. There was nothing wrong with that. Look! I gave you my shoulders, didn't I? And all I'm saying is that it is getting really late and you need to go. You know as much as I do know that we cannot sleep together again. So what's the point? Just leave! Please! I can see where all this is going to. You didn't care about my pain. No, ask Kate to marry you. Again. And this time I think she will jump at it. You don't love me anymore. You don't. Why are you being so hard on me? You used to say I'm the one who have been hard on you. But now we know where the truth is. Okay. I mean, What do you want me to do? Teresa, I still love you. I still want to be with you. You think I do not love you? You think I do not still hurt? For crying out loud, you are the one who asked Rose to get married to you. How do you think that makes me feel? Happy? You think I'm happy seeing you fall into the arms of another woman after all that we've been through? Hell no, I don't think so. I do not want to die, okay? I do not want to die of sorrow. That is why I've decided to pick the broken pieces of my life and be happy again with justice. But just you, you would not let me be. Justice and rules don't matter. We have us, just you and I. We are all that matters. Okay, Ernest and Teresa, we are the beginning of the story. Remember, where were they when we started it? Huh? Justice and rules are just circumstantial. But they're already emotionally involved with us. You can't just hold them like that. There is no easier way in breaking somebody's heart. There's no way. Let me just tell the guy I came back and it's over between you and him. And I'll do the same to Rose. Simple. I know they're gonna hurt for a while, but they'll move on. And then we'll be together again. 
just you and I, happy again. End story. Good morning, sweetheart. You sound like you're still in bed. Don't tell me you're not at work yet. You're not talking. Is anything the matter? Uh, um, I'm fine, my dear. I'm okay. Oh, uh, no, I'm just not feeling too well this morning. Cut the line. Cut the line. Why would you call him your dear in front of me, huh? I said put the phone off now. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can I've been here again. Where are you? It's echoing. I'm in the bathroom. Tell me you love me. I love you. Go out of the bedroom to the room and say it loudly. I can't leave the bathroom. I have to run this to work. If running stomach is keeping you this long in the bedroom, then you obviously need to see a doctor. I'm coming over. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, don't bother just us. I'll be fine. I'll just take a quick shower now and then dash to work. By the time I get to the hospital, the friend will check me out, okay? And give me some drugs. Oh, we could do, we could do lunch together. Are you still in the hotel? Yes. There is a I don't understand why I had to drive all the way from Lagos to the east to see you and all I do is to spend the night all alone in this hotel room. You've never been here and you wouldn't even let me sleep in your house. That's unfair. Come on, Justice. Stop complaining. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Okay. See you at lunch then. I love you. I heard you tell him that you love him. How can you say a thing like that? Get off my back, Ernest. You caused it. What's wrong with you? I thought we agreed on something. What did we agree on? What did we agree on? Oh yeah, like it's that easy for me to just say it to his face. Please. I see you again. Why don't you come back inside? And I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you mean the world to me, right? Same here. Just that things are a little bit complicated right now. And God knows that I'm trying my best to sort it out. Justice is a very nice man. And I care about him a great deal care about. Yeah. That's what it is. You and Justice, you care about yourselves. You and I, we in love. And that's the difference. Remember that. <laughs> no. Let's go to the junction and pick a cab. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
So who will bring me back home? I want a taxi to bring you back hmm. before taking me away. <laughs> it was hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so crazy. That's Wasn't why it? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Take him back to the hotel. Yes. You said you had something important to discuss with me. Yes, I um I Justice, you are you're a very nice guy. Very, very nice. Every woman will be honored to have such a caring and loving gentleman like you in her life. Well, there doesn't have to be any more ladies who will be delighted and honored to have me in their lives. Because I already have one lady who is delighted to have me in her life and I'm also delighted to have her in my life and that's good enough for me so no more ladies delighted or no delighted mm -hmm. I guess you're right um, there's something I want to show you in my room in my hotel room come with me and please don't say no okay. come with me I took with my phone. Mm -hmm. I put it here so I could look at you anytime I want to go to bed and tell God how much I love you and how much I want Him to bless you for me. Just stop. Stop being so nice to me. Stop being such an adorable person. Please just stop. Is that why you're crying? Does it make you sad that I, that I, that I love you? I want to go home. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll take you home. No, 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 don't worry. I, I want to go home with you. Please. Just stop being so nice to me. It's breaking my heart. What do I owe the surprise visit? Good morning, Ernest. Good morning. Your father wants to see you. Tell him I'm not in. Tell him I, I'm not here. Tell him I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. Tell him I'm not in. I don't want to see him. I heard all that. Papa, what, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? Haven't you ruined my life enough already? Son, this is not the way to talk to your father. After avoiding and refusing to see him for months. 
How are you getting on? Papa, we shouldn't be having this conversation. Not at all. If you wanted to know how I would be doing, you wouldn't have forced me into breaking my relationship with Teresa. Augusta came to see me. You heard me? Augusta came to see me. She begged me to ask you to stop seeing Teresa. Augusta, you? Yes. She said that she has very strong reasons to believe that we are still seeing Teresa secretly. And that is affecting Teresa's relationship with her new fiancé. Relationship. Papa, I am the only one in a relationship with Teresa. Okay? No one else but me. So you are still seeing her, eh? You know, I'm, I'm not even going to ask that question. It's between Teresa and I. Love, they say, is light and fire. It can light up your path. It can burn you. What is love to you, my son? Light or fire? Think about it and have it ready. I'm sorry. My name is Justus. And I'm currently dating the girl your fiancé Ernest dated. Excuse me, you know Ernest? Yes, and I know you too. Your name is Rose. You own a beauty parlor. I've been making lots of inquiries. I want us to talk. No, a public place. Something like a bar or a restaurant. Please, I need you to help me. I am helpless. Your name again? My name is Justus. And you know Ernest? Yes. Please, I need you to help me. I'm helpless. Please. Please. There is a... Your aunt went to my father and told him that she has reasons to believe that you and I are still seeing each other. We are more like sneaking around with each other. The truth is, I don't care anymore. I'm just tired of this hide and seek game. I want you back. I still love you. And I don't care who knows or who doesn't. Have you told Rose yet? No. I'm just waiting for the right moment to strike. Have you told Justice yet? I just don't know how to bring myself to tell him that. God, it's just so good to be hurt. Hey, we have an impasse. A love impasse. Yeah, I, I was thinking maybe we should just get married, put it in the papers, and let them read about it. Yeah, that would kill Justice. He won't die. He left him once before he didn't die. What shows he's gonna die now? And you just bother yourself about this guy for nothing. Because he's so nice, he's caring. Enough! What is all this? I'm tired of hearing about this. I've heard a million times already. I mean, what? Love is not about your conscience. It's not about your guilt. How guilty you feel. It's about where your heart is. Now, the reason I put it to you, where is your heart?
my hat is ready. With you. Take care. Uh, so now you believe me. Look at them. Is that not Ernest, your boyfriend? What's that? Calling the police? Look who's calling me. Okay. Hello? Baby, where are you? I'm coming to see you now. I've missed you all day. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not home. I'm, I'm, I'm at school. I'm at school. I just had a little work overload. I needed to mark some uh, student test sheets. Okay, I'm coming to the school right now. I'll meet you there. Um, no, no, that won't be necessary. You know, tell you what, uh, let, let's, let's hook up tonight. I mean, that's, that would be more ideal because I was just about um, leaving now, going to my cousin's place. He's not feeling too well. Okay, um, give me his address and I'll meet you there then. He hello? Hello? Hello, I'm here. I can hear you. Hello? Can, can you hear me? Hello? I can hear you. I can't hear you. I think the network is really bad. Um, I'll call you back later, okay? All right, bye. What happened? He hung up. Guy man. It was unnecessary. Just tell it over. I know. Um, how do I do that when I've already proposed to the girl? I mean, love is a game. Not everybody wins. Okay. See you later. You sure you don't want me to see you? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay? Just go inside and continue your stuff. I love you. Okay. I love you. Love you. Later. It's alright. Put yourself together. Don't cry, okay? You've seen it all yourself. So, the question is what do we do? I'm so hurt right, right now. Just take, take me out of here, okay? Okay, um, taxi. So? Move the car. To where, sir? Um, just drive around the town, okay? Okay, sir. You gotta put yourself together. Okay. Let's go somewhere. Mm, cool, alright? Come on. I don't want you to cry. Let's go. What are you thinking? You're worried. Is there anything I should know? I'm fine. I'm fine. I have something to tell you. The other day when you asked me to marry you, I told you we needed some more time to get to know each other, right? Yes, that, that's what you did, yeah. Well, I've changed my mind. Let's get married. I have accepted. Aren't you supposed to at least give me a smile or a hug for what I just said? Ernest, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. <laughs> yeah, um, we should get married. Yeah, why not? We can let our engagement be known in like uh, two to three months and then we can get married. In like a year or two. That should do. Okay. Uh huh. I'm happy now. Cool. That will be fine.
cruzado. Me. Did you get into any fight with Ernest? <laughs> I don't know what came over me. <laughs> so what happened? I don't know. I was so jealous. I was angry. I was so angry. <laughs> Teresa. What happened to Teresa? <laughs> I think I've <I'm> killed her. <laughs> you think you did what? <laughs> I went to throw her at the house when she came. I hit on the back of the head with a rod. Jesus Christ. Ah, I think she's dead. God have me see. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Teresa. <laughs> Come on. That the lady who was brought here, that her head was hit. Her name, her name is Teresa, where is she? Follow me, sir. The doctor would like to see you. I don't want to see the doctor. I want to see my fiance. Which ward is she in? She was in the emergency ward for 30 minutes. And now? The doctor would like to discuss her with you. Where? We did our best, Mr. Ernest, but she died. She had a fractured skull, she bled much, and her chances were very little. Poor girl. She couldn't make it. So sorry. So sorry. started atoning for your sins already? I don't even see how you can read the Bible after what you've done to me. And you've ruined my life. Have you come to torment me, son? No! I came to tell you that you would never, never get a grandchild. Ever. Ever for as long as I live. You won't. You didn't want a single cell child as a grandchild. So you decided to ruin my life, right? I can promise you that you will never get one at all. Not until the day you die. Because I'm not going to get married. What is AS? What is AS? What is AA? Hmm? Compared to my life, my life. What about Teresa's life? She's, she's lost her life now. Are you happy? 
You happy? What about Rose's life? She's now in prison. You okay with that? Well, I'm not. I'm not. What am I supposed to do then? My life is real. You should have encouraged us to get married. You should have told us to adopt a child. You should have told us that. You ruined my life. Tell you what. I don't know when or, or if you will ever see me again. Angel, I'll never stop loving you. must be justice. I know you're earnest. Met you a couple of times, but you didn't see me. Yes, I'm earnest. There is always a good girl. A real jewel. Yeah. I love that deeply. I still do. And I will never stop loving her. So rest in peace. You will always be a part of me. I'm holding on to love that you bring I'm holding on to hands that you bring